All right, it seems that Yahoo had it down pat and was, was correct on their story from a couple weeks ago where they said that the NBA has been covering up um, some of the positive uh, corona test numbers that came out. So let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And Russell Westbrook announced today, which I don't know why he announced it, but he told Shams that uh, he tested positive for COVID-19. So everybody that's not pretty much in Orlando, you can make the correlation that they probably tested positive for coronavirus. Now, let's kind of go over the people. Yogis tested positive. He's stuck in Siberia. Missed his flight to come back to the United States. Bam also tested positive. And it was uh, Kendrick Nunn, I think, tested positive for Miami. Um, and it was quite a few other ones that tested positive, right? And the NBA sound like they're covering up. The superstar testing positive. They said Kawhi Leonard had a family issue, right? That means he tested positive. Now, he was supposed to arrive in Orlando yesterday. Maybe he got cleared and he tested negative, but tested positive. Russell Westbrook confirmed today that everybody that's not in Orlando that's supposed to be playing or haven't announced they wasn't going to come to Orlando probably has the coronavirus. So that's Westbrook, James Harden. Also, you had DeAndre Jordan. You had, shit, the whole Brooklyn you know, staff chose not to come or got tested positive. Spencer Didwitty. You also have some uh, Denver Nuggets other than Jokic. You had, uh, was it Torrey Craig, Gary Harris, Michael Porter Jr. is not in Orlando neither. So they probably tested positive. Kawhi, Harden, and also now Wesley Westbrook. So the NBA is trying to cover it up. And obviously it's not playoff time, and those teams are probably going to be cemented other than the Brooklyn Nets in the playoffs regardless. So, like I said before, now you had Rondo break his thumb. And the NBA going to do that. They're going to try to cover it up. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know what made Westbrook come out and say it, but like I said before, man, um, and it, and in it, it, and, and China it was a report that came out a few months ago, a couple months ago, that, you know, a lot of people that had it, they got it again and it was worse. So, I mean, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't surprise me that the NBA is covering covering this up for the better better good of the league and for the restart of the season. So you got a lot of dudes that was tested positive. And I found it funny that not one superstar had truly tested positive, especially with Texas being reopened. And, you know, we've seen, you know, some of these stars at some of the protests, which Westbrook was at, James Harden loving titty bars. And, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. They didn't take the proper precautions and wear the mask and, and they couldn't stay at home. They can't help themselves. You get all that money, you can't spend it. Even if you got that money, you don't go out. You're going to invite the hoes over, the thoughts over to the crib. You know, remember two Lakers tested positive, and they never came out and said who the other one was. It probably was LeBron. You know what I'm saying? So the NBA going to cover it up for the for, for the money. I'm telling you, man, it's going to be some compromising in that bubble. But the bad thing about it is, what if a dude like LeBron or Giannis get the shit in the middle of the playoffs? Are they going to do what's best and cover it up for them and let them still play? Or are they going to sit them out in the middle of a playoff series? That's what you got to ask yourself. In a world where we can't even get honest, you know, doctors. You know, you know what my favorite, and I don't want to make this a long video. One of my favorite sayings that people say, because I love to rebuttal it, is this. You know, he so, you know, Jay-Z so dope to his community and he trying to do good now. It's people legally selling drugs, pharmaceuticals, that's more deadly than a crack rock or meth. You know what I'm saying? That, that these doctors don't live by no code. They don't live by their ethics no more. They pushing pharmaceuticals on people that can kill them and mess their life up. So if you can't expect your physician and your doctors to, to be honest and stay true for the, to their eth ethic code, how can you expect when millions and millions and millions and billions of dollars in my rock voice is on the line, that on the line they do the right thing? That's the one thing the players need to be worried about because it's one of the big stars test positive for it. Is the NBA going to do the right thing and boot them out the bubble? Now, let's say LeBron get bounced out the first round, right, or the second round, and Giannis test positive or, you know, a big star test positive or if it's a small little outbreak. They're going to... But they're going to bust that bubble. Easy. They're going to bust that bubble. That's it. They're going to bust that bubble. Now, if LeBron making a nice run and they having like a 
a Shaq and a Kobe run like in 01, 2001, and they only lose once, or they ain't lose until they get it, and they ain't lose the whole first, second, third round, and Giannis get it, they going to still let it go on. I'm telling you, bro, this is the LeBron Invitational, and I ain't counting this shit. And they, they lying to him, or they just choosing to stay home for family issues. Westbrook came out and said, I got that shit. So how many other players got it? So you got to ask yourself. So it is what it is. Appreciate y'all for checking in. Check out the NBA Talk playlist. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you got business questions, inquiry, response, your video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel. Cash at PayPal. They're the best way to donate. If you haven't subscribed, thumbs up, comment. It's just share the video, man. That's the best way to help out one time for the one time we don't.